For some reason, Eleven Labs gave me access to their new phone app that's in beta. And I figured I'd share it with you all. In case you don't know what Eleven Labs is, it's a text-to-speech and speech-to-speech -speech platform that outputs super high-quality audio that sounds indistinguishable from real voices. You can choose from their large library of pre-made voices, or you can create your own. You can check out Eleven Labs at elevenlabs.io. So what is this new app that they have? It's called Eleven Labs Reader. I guess the best way to explain what this app does would be just to show you, so let's open it up. Now I'm only going to show you quickly that it works on my iPhone, but I can't seem to get the audio to record from it to my computer, so I'll show everything else using the app on my Mac instead. Since it's an audio app, I figured it might be important for the audio to actually work. So really quick here, you can see what the app looks like. You have two main buttons at the top. First to paste some text, and second to paste a URL. And below those are whatever text and URLs you have already brought into the app. Except for Oscar Wilde's The Happy Prince. That was already in the app when it was installed. Nice to have a demo text available already. That's what it looks like on the iPhone, but now let's take a look at it as a Mac app so that we can actually hear it. And here it is. I changed the window size so that it showed up the exact same as the iPhone window did on my computer. Here's a side by side really quick, just so you can see the difference, even with the same window size. But as you can see, you can easily change the size to whatever you want, so it can more resemble if you were working on an iPad or you can fill the entire screen or whatever. I'll just leave it at some happy medium for now. Before I start showing off what it can do, let's take a look at the bottom. We're currently on My Reads. Switch it over to My Voices, and this is where you can pick and choose from all of the available voices. And this is where it's much nicer of an experience using it on your computer, as you can see so many more options at the same time. If you already used Eleven Labs before, then you know how all of these voices work. The main differences here are that it doesn't seem to have nearly as many voices available in the community voices. And I don't see a way to search for any. And as you can see at the top, in yellow, Voice Labs should be coming soon, allowing voice cloning and voice design. But if you have access to the regular website, you can do that there and then use the voice in the app. The main reason for this tab, however, is for finding the voice you want to use and then making it the current voice. So whichever voice you choose as the current voice will be the one used on anything you have in the My Reads section. It's a very basic setup. To hear a voice, just press the play button of any of them. Life is like a sewer. What you get out of it depends on what you put into it. And if anybody watches any of the country videos that I've made, you'll recognize this one. The world is round, and the place which may seem like the end may also be the beginning. And you can also have accents, which are nice, too. Trust yourself. You know more than you think you do. And you keep looking through them until you find the one you like. Kindness is more important than wisdom, and the recognition of this is the beginning of wisdom. And once you do find the one you like, tap on the Use Voice, and that will change it to the current status. Now that we have a voice selected, let's head back to My Reads. Something I'm going to say, and probably reiterate a couple more times, is that this is an early version of the app, and there are bugs, and that there are features that are missing, and that things may function completely different by the time this is released. So again, this is an early version of the app. That being said, I'm going to start with one of the things that I hope changes. If I choose one of the three texts I already have... Book of Chapter 1 a long expected party. When Mr. Bilbo Baggins of Bag End announced that he would shortly be celebrating his 111st birthday with a party of special magnificence. You can see in here that it starts without being prompted to, and there's no option to change that. But it does sound great. 
The riches he had brought back from his travels had now become a local legend, and it was popularly believed, whatever the old... All right, let's pause that and exit out. And now we'll make a new one from scratch, tapping on the paste some text box. Here you can name it whatever you want. This one will be give me liberty or give me death. Then paste in literally whatever you want to have read to you in the voice that you currently have selected. This is where you can see the main difference between this reader app and the regular 11 labs website. You can paste in an entire book if you want and then tap the listen button in the top right and it will read it to you in the app, but that's it. This isn't creating any files. You won't be able to download and listen to the audio later on your own system. Unless this is something they change in the future. But as far as I can tell, this is an app that is made exclusively for you to listen to the text you input using one of many very high quality voices. As soon as you hit listen, it starts almost immediately, and your only other options at that point are to pause the audio, leave, or click to a later part in the text to start the audio at that point. The battle, sir, is not to the strong alone. It is to the vigilant, the active the brave. Besides, sir, we have no election. If we were base enough to desire it, it is now too late to retire from the contest. There is no retreat but in submission and slavery. Our chains are forged. Their clanking may be heard on the plains of Boston. The war is inevitable. And let it come. I repeat it, sir. Let it come. And if at any point you're listening to it and you don't want to use the voice that you're currently on, you can just hit this little button in the bottom left and up come some of the voices that you've used. I'm going to use my country dude. And as soon as you change that, it should start up again. It is in vain, sir, to extenuate the matter. Gentlemen may cry, peace, peace. Now other options you have while you're listening to this, you can see down here you can go back 10 seconds or you can go forward 10 seconds. And at the same time, you can also change the speed of the reading. Especially if you're listening to a whole book, sometimes just the one speed is rather slow to me. At least put it up to 125, if not 1.5. And here you can hear the difference. Peace, peace. But there is no peace. The war is actually begun. The next gale that sweeps from the north will bring to our ears the clash of resounding arms. Our brethren are already in the field. Why stand we here idle? What is it the gentlemen wish? What would they have? Is life so dear or peace so sweet? As to be purchased at the now it all seems too slow price of chains and now if you leave without pausing the audio will actually continue but you're able to pause it in the main window too slavery forbid it almighty god right down here in the I bottom know not right what course others now url is up next so we'll tap on that box this is basically the same thing but instead of pasting in whatever random book, poem, lyrics, or quotes, you paste a URL to a website. Not every page will work, though. I tried putting in a link to a Twitter or X post, and it didn't recognize it at all. But news articles seem to work quite often. And now, the news. To protect against protesters, Louvre equips Mona Lisa with laser eyes. Paris, Leonardo da Vinci's famous Mona Lisa has reportedly been retrofitted with laser eyes by security at the Louvre in response to attacks by activists attempting to vandalize the painting for attention. Visitors have always remarked how Mona Lisa seems to be looking at them wherever they are standing, said Louvre head of security Dominique Javert while eating a baguette and smoking a cigarette in one of those long cigarette holder thingies. Obviously, this is a real article. We all know it is. All right, so let's try one from a completely different site. And also you can see right here after putting that in and the other one, it does put down below here the name of, or whatever title you gave the text one. And then it just gives you this basic icon that all these have. But then the other one, whatever the title of the web pages that you went to, it'll actually put that in for the title, which is kind of nice. And you can also see below, it shows a percentage of how much you listen to it, how long it's actually going to be. So anyway, let's try one more. The Three Musketeers, Part 1, D'Artagnan Featured, Reviews Film Threat, by Michael Talbot Haynes, 
February 1st, 2024, now on Paramount+. Plus. Get ready to have the kind of fun you used to have at the movies again, with the hope of renewing French pants kicker, The Three Musketeers. Part 1, D'Artagnan, directed by Martin Bourboulon. It comes from an old wrinkly acid adventure story based on an old wrinkly ass French book by Alexandre Dumas that has been adapted quite a few times already, over almost a hundred years. It retains a foothold in popular culture in the vaguest of terms here in the States. I first came across it on TV on The Electric Company, which used the famous catchphrase, all for one and one for all, as a dandy opportunity to teach kids some three-letter words. And that's really it. As I said earlier, this is an early version and therefore there are some issues that will hopefully be fixed soon. For instance, as I showed you before, you can see beneath the percentage of how far you are into the article or the book or whatever. The only problem is if I go back into any of these, say, let's go back to the film threat one. The, the Three Musketeers part. You can see that it automatically starts from the very beginning. It's not a good thing, especially if you're in the middle of a novel. But I'm sure this is one of the things that will definitely be fixed by the time of release. I'm really interested to know how this is going to work for pricing, as there is definitely no way I would use this to listen to a book with the current cost per word on their site. I'm assuming it will be a completely different structure. And if the price is reasonable, I'd love to see support for EPUB, PDF, and other text formats. What's so great about this is how you can have a book read to you as if you had bought the audiobook. You get the subtle inflections in the voice, the pauses, the exclamations. The only thing that it doesn't do is different voices for different characters in the story. At least not yet. And one more thought. I noticed that my invite to test this mentions using it on an Apple Vision Pro with Vision OS 1.0. If integrated well, this could be a really nice feature or function for the Vision Pro. So if Eleven Labs or Apple would like to send me one, I would be more than happy to test it out. Let me know in the comments below what you think of this concept and what you would use it for. And I would appreciate it if you would please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. And have a wonderful day.